what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel so listen monique samuels and chris samuels have finally called it a quits okay now monique went live and she talked about the divorce she says she heard about the news hitting the media while she was on her meditation clear her mind vacation here okay now chris he has been all in the gym, honey. And y'all know how it is when you're going through it and you need to clear your mind. You hit the gym, okay? And he is looking good. Now, it says big boy Chris Samuels is still going hard, using the gym to push through the divorce. He says, can't imagine the ladies are lining up in hopes of Mr. Man and those biceps. <laughs> Listen, a mess. He does look good, y'all, okay? He does. As y'all can see him here with Monique and him by himself, he looks looks great okay now Tyrese chimes in with the message and he says contrary to popular and usual belief a divorce is not it please please feel help and try and make this work 17 years 11 years of marriage there's gotta be a way to honor the word you gave to Jesus she left me and refused to come back wait she left you. Tyrese what does got to do with you <laughs> Tyrese, this don't have nothing to do with you. Tell me, she left me and refused to come back. People reconcile all the time, praying over y'all marriage. Yes. Well, Chris still has Monique all over his Instagram, okay? I really hope they do stay together. Nowadays, it seems like you don't hear about the marriages that last for 20 and 30 years, okay? Like, that doesn't exist anymore. People will divorce, okay? Easily. Now, I think that these two should stay together, but at the same time, if you're not happy, Happy and you're not fulfilled in your relationship in your marriage don't stay together for the sake of the children you know life is short get all you can out of life and if you're not happy find your happiness you know find your happiness I don't know that's how I see it but you know it is a sad thing that these two are divorcing through a divorce I was not planning on sharing this information until it was finalized um, so I actually filed back in April, April 14th. Um, uh, we did, we, we had a mediator like throughout this whole process. Um, and when we felt like we got to a point where it was like, okay, we pretty much are on the same page with moving forward with things. Um, I did go to the courthouse and file. Um, so a lot of information that was like put out there, it was put out there number one while I was on vacation. I was on a meditation retreat in Costa Rica. So I was at, I was in Costa Rica minding my own black business and, um, I was on a meditation retreat. So, you know, whether you're the person who seeks a divorce or the person that was asked for the divorce, um, by the other person, either way, the process is very stressful. It's like, um, it's like going through a death, you know, in so many ways. Uh, Chris and I have been together for 17 years. We've been married for 11 years. Um, yeah, somebody said at the reunion, many... So y'all talking about Love and Marriage DC. Um, the reunion that many people believe the reason you did the show was to set up a divorce to Chris. You both laughed, yet here you are. I hope you both find peace. Yeah, so just because we were going through it last year, which we were. Last year was very rough. When we were going through our motions and we were trying to figure things out, the goal was not to get divorced. That wasn't where we were last year. Like, even when people said last year that we were um, going our separate ways and all of that, Chris and I were trying every which way to figure out, like, how do we get that connection back? How do we bring it back together? And um, so even at that time, it wasn't true. Like, we weren't seeking a divorce. We weren't even, we were separated in a sense of like, okay, you focus on you, I focus on me, and let's see what happens. So we have been going through this process, and it's been years, you know, like marriage, as many people know, it has its ups and downs, but when you feel like you've reached that, that moment of like, you know what, is, are we growing? You know, is, is, are we stagnant? Are we moving? Like, what's going on? And then you also have to consider the fact that we have three children, you know, who are watching us. Our actions and how we interact with each other, how we run our household, that is literally an example for our children of how they're going to live their life, you know? And I don't want our children to ever be in a relationship where they feel like they're not being heard, whether that's on my side or Chris's side, you know, talking at each other, like the marriage becomes like a battlefield. Um, so you get to a point where you also have to consider the fact that we have three little people that are literally looking at us and they're taking notes and they're like, okay, this is what's normal. And it's not normal. So, um, 
so yeah so that's where we are um you guys don't have to be sorry it's a part of life unfortunately sometimes it happens some people stay married forever um some people don't my parents were married for 23 years and got divorced um i know couples that have been married for 60 years and they're miserable and they literally let their whole life just fade away <laughs> you know so um it's really what you make it and if you get to a point where you're like you know what we have grown so far. chris and i are going through a divorce I, um so you get to a point where you also have to consider the fact that we have three little people um you guys don't have to be sorry um it's couples that have been married for 60 years and they're miserable and they literally let their whole life just fade away <laughs> you know so um it's really what you make it and if you get to a point where you're like you know what we have grown so far apart that it may be best that we focus on ourselves individually and then focus on the three important people in our lives, which is, which is our children. And that's what we decided to do. Chris okay, listen, y'all form your own opinion on this. Leave your comments down below. Monique is speaking on how she feels about their upcoming divorce. And I'd like to say one thing about Monique, y'all. This girl can talk, okay? When I've seen Monique on the show, you know, it was even one time she was over-talking her husband and they were in front of the group and he had to tell her to be quiet because Monique can talk, y'all. <laughs> That's one thing I can always remember about her when I see her. It's like, okay, we finna get a whole story because Monique, she talks a lot. <laughs> but y'all, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and... I am praying for all the marriages out there, sending love, strength, and deeper connection, communication to all marriages out there, okay? And your girl is out, y'all. Bye.